one of the successes of this project has been that the students now have a much deeper understanding of their community. They have a, an under, a sense of place now because they've been out in the community and connected with the community and have a, a really good understanding of why people live here. The trial at Oro Area School was about a, applying the curriculum to a composite Year 7 8 class. I have a class of 24 students of mixed ability, so one other aim was to make sure it was a very challenging curriculum ready for the 21st century. And what I was hoping to achieve from the trial was really to introduce the students to um, what geography is about because the class that I had had never actually studied geography as a subject. They'd only had integrated learning through um, society and environment, so they didn't actually understand what geography was about. So I wanted them to have, uh, at the end of the project, a good understanding of the concepts of geography, as well as develop a number of fieldwork skills and to have some fun with the subject. Um, I, I used ARC GIS 9 with Year 7 8s. So I've never used it before with such a young group. Um, and so I thought it was going to be a challenge for not only for me, but for them. Um, it turned out to be quite exciting for the students. They really, they were really engaged with it when we first started with it and really enjoyed using it. The aim of it really was just to introduce them to the basic, basic skills, not to use it for problem solving, but just to be able to make a map, insert a picture, um, export the, the picture out so they could print it. Um, and adding, you know, the, the basic concepts of the basic things you need on maps like um, scales and legends and, and changing colours, that sort of stuff. So they really enjoyed uh, manipulating um, the digital resource to produce a map that um, they liked and then they assessed themselves on it afterwards. Um, the only challenge, that some of them found it challenging, I think it was more challenging for me having 24 students in the classroom asking questions if I demonstrated it first but if they had any problems they then would put their hand up and it was absolutely flat out for me to be able to run around the classroom and, and answer questions but um, I would do it again because they really enjoyed it and they have picked it up quite easily really uh, some students found it a little bit challenging mostly because they'd missed picking up some of the cues when I was demonstrating on the on the whiteboard so it was really once they were shown how to do it, they picked it up really easily. The first field work I did was uh, using GPSs with the students. Um, I knew this would engage them in their learning, so I taught them how to use a, a GPS and we just did some field work around the school. Um, firstly, I did a treasure hunt around the school and then they set their own little treasure hunt for other students to do. The second field work I did, well, really as part of that, was a treasure hunt out of the, out, out of the school grounds in the town where I hid, I hid buckets of, um, of treasures and they had to use a GPS to find them. The second field work I did was just observations of the functions of the town, so it was really using digital photography just to um, go out of the town, into the town and make observations of um, what uh, functions Oru has as a town. Uh, I also took them on, an, on a fieldwork trip out of the town to a, a ghost town nearby, 30 kilometres out of the town, and we did a, a historical study of, of why that town has declined, as well as trying to do some mapping of what the town was like in the past. The challenges uh, in conducting this trial, would, if you didn't have much geographical background as a teacher, you would probably need to do a little bit of uh, uh, some in-service and some T&D to upskill for some of the fieldwork skills. I used a book, Fieldwork in Geography, to help me guide the students on how to structure um, survey questions and interviewing techniques. And, um, and in using a GPS, you really need time to practice how to use one because um, they'll ask you questions and you might not have the understanding, um, even though you think you know how to use it. So you need to practice uh, with some of the, the ICT stuff. And with ArcGIS, I think one of the challenges is finding the time to actually practice. What I hope the students would achieve out of this trial was developing a range of skills, not just geographical skills, uh, but a range of IT skills, for example, and, um, and, and have fun doing, doing geography. So it was important to have a lot of practical, hands-on 
tasks that would uh, engage the students in their learning uh, and so that they feel very positive about geographical understanding. On reflecting on the trial, I, I was really pleased in the end that the students had done a, re a reflection journal about their own learning throughout the process. It wasn't just good for them to have an understanding of what they'd learnt and how they've learnt and their challenges, but it was a really good tool for me to reflect on the trial and it became quite clear through their journals that uh, they really enjoyed geography and had a, a acquired a whole range of skills uh, through their fieldwork and are looking forward to studying geography in the future. One of the successes of this project has been that the students now have a much deeper understanding of their community. They have a, an under, a sense of place now because they've been out in the community and connected with the community and have a, a really good understanding of why people live here. The understanding the students have of their local community and the sense of place they now have with it.